True with Guns America. We are at SHOT Show 2024. We are at the ATN booth right now. And uh, this is a pretty exciting product that we are about to show you. Uh, it is a clip-on from ATN. And we're gonna get into all the details. So before we just jump into this, this is a 640, but it's also available in other uh, Resolutions. Course. Resolutions, yep. there so you go. So it's also available in a 256 as the entry level model, a 320 uh, with a 25 millimeter lens, and then our top of the line is the 640 with the 50, mil 50 millimeter lens. So we were just discussing this a minute ago and I was uh, completely impressed with the specs on this. So let's start with the 640 and sort of work down. Absolutely. So this is a, correct me if I'm wrong, a 12 micron. It's a 12 micron, 640, sub 30 uh, micro Kelvin, you know, thermal sensor. So if you're new to if you're new to thermals, the mellow Kelvin, the, that you the lower the number, the better. And um, a lot of the thermals you'll see out there are, are sub 40 or sub 50 even, and they don't show a lot of difference in temperature. So sub 30 is actually fantastic. Yep, that's really yep, really we've good. We've worked worked very hard to get that created. So all right, that's awesome. So. so the most impressive thing about, and then this is through all the lines, right? Is that you have what you're calling a collimated? Yeah. So our unit, which is different than a lot of the you know, other manufacturers out there on clip-ons is we actually have a collimating eyepiece to begin with. So when it comes out of the factory, we assemble it, we build it, and we optically align it at the factory. The collimating eyepiece should pretty much line that up right with your rifle scope right out of the get-go. If you're off a little bit, there is a box that you can move in it to tighten it up completely. But we're pretty confident you're gonna be right there, yeah, so, right from clipping it on. So once again, those of you not familiar with this, the military really has been the only one that have had like a collimated clip-on thermal where you can just stick it in front of your gun and you don't have to go check for zero. So this is really like, we're talking about that. And you guys have some experience doing this already. Well, this is pretty much what we've done for the 30 years that we've been, been in business. We were a night vision company from the get-go and doing uh, I-squared night vision clip-ons with collimating eyepieces, you know, that's our forte. So all we did was took that, put it into a clip-on and move it forward. And that's why it's taken a, us a long time to get it developed, but you know, we're really proud of what we have and you know, excited to be getting it well, out to the market. I'm excited to try this out because that's always been the sort of downside to the clip-ons from other companies is you got to go readjust your zero with every optic you might put it in front of. So this is really exciting. So the 640 is a 50. Your t tell us the objective sizes on your uh, on the other options here. So your 256 is going to be a 25 millimeter. Your 320 is also going to be a 25 millimeter. Okay. And then your 640. So you're going to get the most range and the best picture out of this one. Also, you're going to pay the most. You're going to pay the most. <laughs> so your 256, you know, which we'll call our entry model, is going to come out at about $1,100 retail. The 320 is at 1800 retail. And the 640 is a 3295 retail, which for a 640 clip-on is a heck of a price. It really is. That's especially when you consider that collimated eyepiece. Now, when is this? when are these going to be available? They should be available right at the beginning of the second quarter. So let's say April 1st, hopefully March. Okay, no no April Fool's jokes right now. Yeah, I'm trying not to. Okay, now, um, I forgot to ask you battery life. Are these rechargeables or these disposables? It's an 18560. Oh. So it should be running off one battery approximately eight to 10 hours. That's fantastic. And obviously just a swap out afterwards. Okay, guys. Great specs coming in on this from ATN on this new thermal clip-on, rechargeable, long batteries, uh, a lot of features we're not seeing in other clip-ons. So uh, right now this is set up to rail mount. Is there, are there other ways to mount this on scopes or this is what you're going for first? Yep, it'll come with the uh, QDM mount on okay. the rail. It'll also come with... Oops. Well, look at this, we're doing a quick hot swap we're here. We're doing a hot swap. <laughs> <laughs> it'll also come with... Oh, the bayonet nice. mount that slips right on. And then, to mount to your scope, just contact us, tell us which, which mount you need. It'll be based on the millimeter yep. scope. These things are really form-fitting, so they are very precision. They slide over, no wiggle room, tighten it a little bit. Wow. Then you just put it back into your bayonet. And lock it in. Well, that's pretty fantastic. 
So I've seen some other clip-ons from other companies recently that have these janky set screws and spacers and all kinds of crap. Yeah. That is a way better right. setup. So either so. clip it on your rail or mount it right to your scope. Mount it to your scope. Don't use the spacers because spacers are always a mess. We know this from <laughs> past experience. We've done that back to you know our roots of big building night vision uh, clip-ons. We tried to do it with, with spacers and they never actually work well. They move you know, loses your yep. optical alignment yep. and your POA, POI shifts all over the place. Okay. Much better system to use. This is called the Tico, the new clip-on from ATN. You can go to ATN.com. ATNCorp.com. ATNCorp.com for more information. Uh, we will absolutely be getting one of these in to do a review at Guns America, so you can watch there. We appreciate you running us through this today. Um, We've got lots more content coming from SHOT Show, so make sure you hit the subscribe button. Tell us what you think of this new thermal in the comments, and we'll see you on the next video.